Hello, welcome to my channel. I have seen that I have a few new subscribers, so welcome. My name is Abby, also go by cat or Abby Cat, whatever you prefer. I have an Instagram account also go going by Cat Paper Love. If you're interested in that, the link will be below. But today I want to welcome you and to, we're going to be making a book for one of my friends. Um, hi Shelly. She requested that I made her a little book um, for her traveling that she's going to be doing during the summer. She saw my sneak peek for this one. So now you're getting an even more sneak peek. Um, this is for an upcoming meetup that I have that is um, travel themed. And I'm not going to show you the inside, but you could use these for a variety of things. This is an embellishment book that was inspired by Crafting with Liller. So hi Lily, I'm going to be linking her information below if you want a tutorial on how she made that. Today is just a craft with me, you're going to see uh, me put together a book. I'm not going to be um, making it an embellishment book, it's going to be uh, used for my friend Shelly so she can add her pictures or ephemera that she collects during her traveling. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Uh, before that actually, let me show you the ones that I will be, uh, the papers that I was using. So for cut aparts or even cutting out, like fussy cutting some images, I use this one by Shamil Go Now Go. And I just love the little different pictures that come with it. I, I got a pack of this at Tuesday morning. And then for the remainder of the book, I also got this from Tuesday morning. Here's the information if you're interested. This is the Peachy Evergreen by DCWB. And I just love this. It has uh, some rose gold foiling. And I just think it's really, really cute. So let's get started. Everything else will get sped up. I will um, speak intermittently if I do anything uh, differently or if you want further information. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.
have the first part of our book, the base, and now we're going to move on to the second part, which is a couple of the pages. Um, we're doing a total of three parts, and each layer um, just reinforces the book and makes it super sturdy for the uh, recipient to enjoy for years to come. book you just want to make sure to add a piece of the um, pretty paper or the printed paper to the part that's facing up because that part will be visible as each layer is smaller than the other the back of it doesn't matter since that will get glued down when you glue it down you want to make sure that it's nice and centered and then of course you know leave time for it to dry um, within each layer unless you're using a glue that dries instantly or double-sided adhesive Now we are going to move on to the final part of our book. You could do as many layers as you want. I find that um, three is works best. Um, so I've seen people just do two. You just have to remember that if you're going to make this an embellishment book, each side you're going to add something. So it just depends how much you want to add to your book. When you're adding the piece of printed paper to the part of the um, spine of the book, you want to make sure to fold it inwards like I just did. That way you make sure it's nice and centered and not overlapping on your folded areas.
now that your book is all put together and you waited for it to dry, you're going to use your score tool to go ahead and rescore those folds. That way they're not super stiff. And I hope you enjoyed this process. I will have another video of me adding some pockets, some other little things in there for my friend Shelly. So stay tuned for that video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. Comment below that you're a new subscriber and say hello. And hit that bell if you want to be notified for future videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!